picked up the DJI um, Osmo Action 3 camera. I have a fear that... exciting things are going to be happening on the channel very soon but first we've really noticed that we've had such an amazing surge in subscribers here on the channel so if you are new here then welcome i am rebecca and with my husband kevin and our three kids harry Elwin, and oslo we are slow traveling around the philippines and are hoping to find our forever home somewhere in the world at some point but for now we are taking our time having adventures and learning to enjoy life again so the biggest questions we get so far on this channel are why haven't we gone to the islands? When will we be going to the islands? Why aren't we in the islands? You need to go to the islands. And here's a few reasons why we haven't done that yet. So one of the biggest reasons as to why we have avoided going to the islands, island hopping or any kind of water activities is mainly down to our YouTube setup. If you didn't know, we actually use the most latest iPhone, I believe the iPhone 13. Um, and it's been doing really great for us. It's 4K resolution, it, it works really well, but we have had a few people recently say that our quality hasn't been as great as others. And whilst that doesn't particularly bother me too much because we are taking our time of our YouTube journey and we don't want to invest in too much equipment too early and then find that this YouTube channel just doesn't work for us anymore. We wanted to just go really slowly and small and keep everything tight. Um, we've been looking at a lot of different setups. We've been exploring loads of different cameras that may or may not work for us. Um, but we've kind of held off of it and have been really happy with just using a phone. Um, we still would be happy using a phone, but a phone unfortunately would not allow us to do the islands, the island hopping or any of the underwater activities justice as much as something else would. So we have had to make a slight investment and it's not something that i understand is easy for most people and it wasn't really easy for us either but this to us was the cheapest uh setup we could find it had great reviews we knew a few vloggers that have actually just recently purchased these as well um and against another similar more popular and more expensive model it checked out to be better we picked up the DJI um, Osmo Action 3 camera and there are a few reasons why. We got this at the Glorietta Camera Expo that had been running for the last three days last weekend um, and we went on a whim. We weren't looking to invest in a camera. We were actually just going to go to build up our camera knowledge. We have no idea about cameras. We're going to be deadly honest with you now. Like We have no camera experience. We've never worked in this area of expertise before we've never worked online before we are complete noobs so we didn't really know what we were looking at but we knew we wanted an action camera a camera that could go underwater something that we could use that was as good as the iphone if not a slight bit better um so we went with this model if you want to see the unboxing we will be doing a short uh reel on instagram so if you're more techy and you're interested in our instagram and what we use equipment wise then head over to our instagram account the link will be below and i'll put our name on the screens as well it is just at whistle family adventures um but we went with this because we heard gopro has a lot of glitches at the moment their newer models glitch a lot their camera battery lasts not as well as the older models we've watched a few vloggers with gopros we've watched a few videos with gopros and when we saw we saw the Tyco family like whack this out when we were at our meetup and I didn't I've never heard of this camera company before. So when we went to the expo they were actually there and we got a lot more information about it. They are sizably cheaper than the GoPro as well, which made it a lot more easier for us to invest in. Still not cheap by any means. This is an investment. Obviously, technology like this is always going to be an investment, but we've put all of our hard earned YouTube earnings into trying to make our YouTube channel always better and grow bigger and give you better content. By being able to film better content whilst we're out in the islands, it's going to make the videos so much better. I wouldn't want to take my phone on a boat or underwater, obviously, because it wouldn't work anymore. So that's why we had to go in this direction. Um, again, if you're interested in prices and things like that, there will be a link below on this video as well to their website. It is affiliated. Um, so if you're interested in that, obviously, if not, then by all means, do your own research, as I always say. 
Uh, but if you're interested in a small action camera, not only to film those cooler videos, but in my opinion, it's been the most amazing thing being able to record every step of our journey here in the Philippines. If you have children or grandchildren or a large family, or even if it's just you and your partner, filming your experiences and putting those together and just keeping them on your computer or having them backed up for years and years and you've got them for life. I wish I did this sooner, I really do. I think as a family, we've missed so many moments that I wish I caught, even just for us personally, long before YouTube. This isn't just a YouTube thing. I think cameras and taking videos and putting films together is, is quite an amazing thing to be able to do in this day and age. And it's definitely something that can hold all of those memories um, without putting down like any waste uh, it's just a brilliant thing to do. So I would really encourage anybody out there that hasn't been thinking about filming or putting videos together or taking videos of your daily life or having family memories to look back at to start doing it now because it really makes a difference for us to be able to watch back everything that we do. Um, and I can only imagine how amazing that is the earlier you start. I do wish I started this so much earlier. But yes, we have made that investment and that is one of the reasons we've been holding off the islands and now we've finally got a better setup, we can definitely do them justice. So over the last few weeks, the desire to go to the island is increasing, but that also comes with a fear. I have a fear um, about going to the islands because when you go to the islands, you normally uh, island hop, and with that is going into the open sea. Having young kids who are very, unexperienced, inexperienced, um, with being in water, it was essential to train them up to learn how to swim. We've said this so many times, how invaluable having a swimming pool in our condominium has been. Obviously those sort of luxuries aren't available in the UK because we don't need them really. Uh, swimming is more of a day out. It costs a lot of money to go swimming in the UK. So having a pool here, every day and especially now summer is right around the corner means that we can not only enjoy the weather cool down when we need to but our kids can get invaluable lessons like swimming as kev mentioned he is extremely nervous he gets a lot of um motion sickness and boat sickness so he's not great with boats um which is really strange because for me i love the sea i love boats i'm really happy to be going to things like that i can't wait um i'm more like airplanes and kind of turbulence uh, fear driven um but kev's definitely fearful of boats i think he's very scared of the kids like maybe going overboard or something like that which i don't think would ever happen especially with the kind of um skills and experience that these uh, boatsmen have usually and also they'll have life jackets so they will be as safe as we can possibly make them but taking this extra step to teach them to swim is one of the reasons one of the biggest reasons after our kind of youtube setup and equipment um as to why we've kind of held off just a little bit longer oslo is only four so things like this have to be done just to make them extra super safe i'd run a thousand miles if i could run with you Harry was the only one that ever had swimming lessons back in the UK. It's quite common to get your kids to learn to swim in general, uh, but lessons over there are not cheap. So Elwyn and Oslo actually have never had any lessons, but as you saw in the clips, hopefully, uh, they are quite competent swimmers now. They do have to use uh, sometimes uh, floating devices just to make sure that they don't sink, or if they are tired out because they're only very little, um, they usually put their floats back on, but um, Elowen's been practicing so much, we're so proud of her. She's going underwater and everything, and that's only in like four months worth of 
uh, like swimming in a pool and that's not with a lot of formal training we teach her what we know but we don't tend to be able to give her proper swimming lesson teacher advice uh, but she's doing so well and um, so it's just nice to be able to um, catch them in the water learning so much and also be able to now catch it on film which is pretty damn cool this camera is pretty thick um, it's really weird putting a camera in water as well not gonna get used to this <laughs> Aside from cameras and uh, getting the kids to swim and having all of these amazing resources to hand now, there is also one really big and kind of important thing that is one of the biggest reasons as to why we haven't gone to the islands just yet. Not many people like to talk about this, especially online, and I completely understand why. I myself don't like talking about it, but it is a big part of life. It is how we move around, it's how we live, and that is money. Um, money, we are okay for money as of now. We have had uh, a few of our savings come in recently so we can really last a long time, but only if we're careful. We are always really careful on how much we eat in a week, um, what, where we go in a week, and going to an island is a big chunk of our savings. Um, we also wanted to see how our YouTube earnings would do as well. Something, again, nobody really talks about and I completely understand why. But those things really come into account when you're going to be planning a bigger trip to an island here in the Philippines. Traveling to the other islands is nowhere near as cheap as people think it is. Actually, from England to Europe, it's like completely different and it's so much cheaper if you went from England to France or to Spain or to Germany. But actually booking commercial flights here in the Philippines is far more expensive. Not only that, but a lot of the resorts on the islands and the hotels that are where you're probably going to want to stay because otherwise you're going to have to have some sort of transportation like a scooter um, you have to kind of stay in those sorts of places as a family uh, as much as i'd love to try and get all the kids on a scooter i don't think it would be the safest option for us so we have to be in places where there's a lot going on there's a lot to do or on a beachfront at least so we've been really taking our time and taking care in where we put our money and how we spend it here in the philippines and we really wanted to make the most out of our island trips and we wanted to wait for the weather specifically. Right now in the Visayas region, it's their rainy season. First it's Manila and Luzon, and then the rainy season goes down to the Visayas region. So even now the islands are experiencing bad weather. YouTube is our only source of income as of now. We are looking into multiple different streams uh, for the future, but it's sustaining us enough but it's not yet there where we can kind of book bigger trips for longer, do island hopping and all of that. But I kind of think that is a good thing. And here's why. We don't want to spend all of our money doing loads of island hopping all at once and not take in as much of each island as we would like to. We can pick and choose now where we want to go, knowing that we're going to be here a lot longer than others perhaps are going to stay. So we get to customize where we'd like to go and how we'd like to do it. And it means that hopefully in the future we can do three or four trips a year rather than trying to fit in 12, 15, 5, 10 different islands in the space of three months. So yeah, money does play a massive part in our decisions and why we've made these decisions. And we want to make the best out of every single trip we do. So the weather has to come into that account and being able to fund it has to become part of that account. It's just normal, it's what people have to deal with. And whilst you no know, money isn't a great subject to talk about, it is important. We're only human, we're not rich, we haven't come from a really wealthy background, we haven't got a load of savings. We have got a few, but it will only sustain us to a certain amount. So it has to come into account at some point that the islands have to kind of be a little bit more a little bit more sporadic rather than island, 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 island. So hopefully that also makes a little bit of sense. We are experiencing a little bit of a heat wave here in Manila. We've had a few really beautiful hot days and there are definitely more to come. Um, so we're out here by the pool and I'm gonna have to jump back in again because it is so hot. <laughs> because I really want to try the food and go to the nice beaches because I heard they're really good and the sand is white.
I went to go to Boracay because of the white sand and put it in the sea. So for me, I'd really love to visit Sikijur. It's not a place that I'm really familiar with. I know a lot about multiple different islands because of, you know, YouTube and the world that we live in. Um, but I don't know as much about Sikijur other than it is a very tropical destination and it is very, very beautiful. I want to go to Backlord. No, that's not an island. <laughs> what well, silly willy. So I want to go to the Negros Island because I hear that in Backlog the food is amazing and as you know from us by now, we love food. So despite us holding off on going to islands for all of those reasons and more, we have actually been secretly planning a few trips for these next upcoming weeks. There will definitely be an island, an official island we will be going to. And technically there'll be another destination that will have islands. So leave your guesses below if you think you know where we're gonna be going this year. Um, we also have a few plans coming up very, very soon in the next month. And then the next month after that, it's just a lot of work to get everything sorted and finalized. So very, very exciting. A few trips, very, very close coming up we're really really excited a little bit nervous but excited so i hope you enjoyed today's video and understand kind of where we're coming from and why we've held off for so so long and actually to be really honest we've really really enjoyed just being here in the city of manila exploring things that we've never ever been able to do so in our normal situation when we were back in the uk and just taking in city life. It, there's a lot to explore and there's still so much more we haven't kind of touched in Manila or even just directly outside of it. There are other cities in Luzon that we would love to also visit at some point. Um, it's just, there's so much in Luzon and I think a lot of people kind of skip Manila and don't go near it and go straight to Cebu or straight to islands. And actually there's a lot here that you can really uncover. And as you've seen in some of our videos, we really dedicate a lot of time to exploring uh, Manila and Luzon. But apart from that, very exciting things coming up and we are, yeah, we're really excited and hope you are too. If you want to, comment below also what your favourite island is and why we should visit. We really want to know a few islands that are popular and also a few that aren't so touched. So let us know below what your favourite island is as well. We'd love to know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Salam apu!